morning. My dad and I are here at the Dead Horse Visitor Center here inside Dead Horse State Park. And there is no one here right now, just one other truck. Official start time, 7.41. We're about ready to get views like this all day long. This hike is full of them. We just walked by some people who were sitting on the other side of the little stone wall here on a little slanted rock. Why? I have no idea. We started out at the north side of the parking lot and the path is paved. However, we're getting ready to start the loop. Dead horse loop. We're gonna take it south down to Dead Horse Point. That's gonna be the first stop. The book says that this hike has some of the best views, not only in the state, but some of the best views in the entire country. Yeah, the book actually said that. I mean, that's a bold statement. So we'll see. I don't know, that sets the bar pretty high to say that the hike has the best views in the country. But that's why we're doing it. We're gonna hike it and find out. And another cool thing about this hike is that it's flat. Hardly any elevation gain. The trail just kinda goes around the perimeter of this plateau up here. And you can bounce it out to these different overlooks. Yeah, just everything about this hike sounded good. So that's why we chose it. As far as the length goes, you can really make this hike as long or as short as you'd like. If you do everything, I think you're looking at a little over nine miles. However, we're probably gonna cut out two of them so we're probably gonna be closer to six miles or so, maybe seven, I'm not really sure. Like I said though, it's all flat along here and the book says that it's a nice, easy stroll. We're probably gonna skip this first one because it hikes directly to the east and we'd just be getting blasted with the sun. So we're probably gonna skip that one and take it all the way down to Dead Horse Point. I'm just guessing, but I believe this is gonna be the worst part of the hike right here. We're getting plastered with the wind from the east and we're walking directly into the sun. Hopefully, when we turn the corner down here, we'll drop down a tiny bit, get the sun behind us and be out of the wind. But right now we're getting it. Wow, this is a beautiful hike so far. I mean, if you're into just epic, majestic views, this is the one. And then that big point jutting out, that is gonna be Dead Horse Point. That's where we're heading next. There's also a giant parking lot there. So you can just drive directly to it if you like. Oops, let's back it up, take a look at this map. Yep, we're right here. We're gonna take it on down to Dead Horse Point. So far the book is not lying. This hike is incredibly flat. This is extremely nice and relaxing. 
it's just good because you can look as you walk. You don't have to constantly be looking down so you don't trip over something. This is an amazing hike so far. Loving it. The road that goes down to Dead Horse Point is literally about 40 yards to my right. It's just over there. And that's the other good thing about this hike is that you're really never in a lot of danger. There's always help close by. We've just crossed over the road. We're on the west side now. And the sign says a half a mile out to Dead Horse Point. And then this sign says that the rim trail continues on in this direction. Beautiful. And there's hardly anyone out here right now. Only one truck has gone down that road so far. One. Let's go peek over the edge. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. gonna continue on this trail is incredibly beautiful oh wow <laughs> it's pretty amazing holy moly Huge drop-offs. Unbelievable. This thing just goes straight down. I'm sure people like to go stand on the edge of those, but not me. No, sir. And we're out here. We have finally made it to Dead Horse Point.
That's looking back at the parking lot. And I think I see one car. Yeah, there's no one up here right now. Wow, we actually had that place to ourselves for a good 15 minutes. And then the mob showed up. So we are gonna push on. We're gonna head up to the next overlook. We're still walking around Dead Horse Point up here. There is an outer trail that just goes around the entire thing. Good thing is, from here on out, we should have the sun behind us the entire rest of the hike. down the east side of the rim trail. The reason we did it this way is so we could get some good shots over here to the east with the sun behind us. If we would have done the loop in the traditional manner, we just would have been looking into the sun the entire time coming down in that direction. And then midway down the east side of the rim trail, there's this little side trail that branches off. We're coming over here to check it out. Yeah, I like this one, a little turret. Yeah, I'm holding on to my GoPro with two hands right now. If it fell out of my hands, goodbye. Never to be found again. Beautiful shot to the east. Those are the evaporation ponds. And then behind them, the LaSalle mountain range. The LaSalles. <laughs> yeah, this little side trail is awesome. I'm loving it. And the cool thing is you're probably not gonna get people from the parking lot down here because they're not gonna know about it. This is just a little bonus on the way down the rim trail. Yeah, we just came around the corner. We're gonna hang the right and continue on in a northern direction. I imagine we're gonna be pretty close to the road this entire time. It gets kind of narrow on this east side. Still though, there, there are not very many people out here at all. All right, we're gonna continue on the East Rim Trail. We got another beautiful day. It's a tad bit windy, but we got the blue sky.
See, we're getting some good views of this side now on the way back. Before, this was like all black. It was just like looking directly into the sun. All right. And we're back down to where we need to cross over the road and complete the figure eight. All right, what's next here? Meander Overlook, 0.6 miles. Schaefer Canyon Overlook, 0.9. Wingate Campground, 1.2. Rim Overlook, 1.7. Bighorn Overlook, One thing to take note of is that if you try this in the summer, when there's tons of people out here, this is gonna be a super noisy hike. You're just gonna hear cars and people the whole time. It's not too bad right now, but I can only imagine. This is like the same sign as before. Meander Overlook, six tenths. Schaefer Overlook, nine tenths. So it's like we haven't done anything up to this point from the last sign. 